Let's talk about branding. Uh, I think of branding, you hear a lot of talk about branding these days. Everything's all about the brand. Your brand is it, the brand, the brand, the brand. That's true. On the other hand, there's sort of a chicken and the egg concept here. One is, you know, you build a product or service and then what happens over time is your brand gets developed because, you know, your brand is not only something that, in a way, you control by building your product or service. Your brand is also something as how your customers perceive your product or service. So what I would say is, A, really build an amazing product and that way your brand will take care of itself because people will hear about your product and think, wow, that's the one I want. Now, on the other side of my mouth, what I want to say is it's very, very important to think about your brand and how you want it to look. Is it a high quality looking brand? Is it something that's you know, super efficient? Is it a brand where you, know, you want to have a look and feel to your logo? I would invest some money in your logo and the look and feel of your products. Is it a certain color that you always use? Caterpillar spray paints their, their bulldozers bright yellow. That's a brand of theirs. You see a bright yellow bulldozer out there, it's probably a cat. Okay, so there's, there's that consideration. What is your logo? And here's the thing, down the road, this is where the brand really pays off. You know, so you're gonna do all this marketing promotion, you're gonna convince people to buy their product, you're gonna demonstrate it, all that stuff, they're gonna get it. Down the road, you want them to come back to you and buy another one. Down the road, you want them to tell their friends about it, refer people to this. People are gonna see what somebody's got and say, hey, I want one of those. How do they identify your product in the store compared to all the other stuff in the store? So back to, here's where your logo makes sense. It's worth investing the money to get a good logo. Now think about your logo, there's a lot of things that go into a logo. It's gotta to reduce to black and white. It's gotta shrink down to the size of a postage stamp. It's gotta fax well, so if you throw your, your letter in a fax machine, Machine, the logo looks good in a fax machine. A lot of considerations, there's a lot of good professional logo designers out there. But it's worth putting the investment in a good logo and a good design, picking a good overall color for your product or service. So is it a food product where you want to have the food colors, you know, like oranges and browns and yellows in there? Is it a product that's a prestige product where it's got blacks and golds and purples and stuff like that? What are the colors that are that go into your product? That all makes a big difference. So you want to think about those kinds of things. And you can look up on Google what you know what brands and colors and that kind of thing goes together. So you want to put some thought into what how your product looks, feels, perceived, because you want people to be able to quickly identify and recognize you and your product or service quickly in the marketplace, whether it's on a fax, a billboard, a business card, wherever. So your branding and your image and your overall look and feel all go together and they're, they're, they're consistent with what your product is about.